Hey everyone, so this is David and I just wanted to take a minute to um, share with you how I use my interactive uh, rhythm games and embed them into online learning platforms. So today I'm just going to show you how I do that with Google Classroom since it seems like a lot of people are using that um, and show you how easy it really is. So I'm going to turn on my little cursor finder here. So what I did was I went to um, my Teachers Pay Teachers store and if you go down here there's a whole thing that's all interactive games so I'm going to go to that. And um, down in the interactive games, there are uh, 12 different games. There are some bundles and things. But right now, what I want to show you is if you scroll down, <clears throat> I recently added a demo game. So this demo would, it's just sort of a simplified version of one of the games, but it would show you how the games work. I've actually already downloaded this. So I'm going to show you sort of what's inside first. So inside um, the, the download, you're going to get two files. This one would work really well on an interactive whiteboard. So if you were on an interactive whiteboard, like a smart board or Promethean board, you would just turn it on and you could use this. And, and it's, it's made so that kids um, can click and go. So you find the Han Solo, you find the rhythm that matches. Ta rest. No, sorry, that's not it. <laughs> Han Solo. Ta ta. That's not it either. So it's ta ta di or ta ti ti. And then kids sort of get a click through, right? It's pretty fun. Um, kids like doing it. But what's even more fun is the interactive online version. So let me show you that. So that's what this file is. And if you open this up, um, it's going to show you there are some little directions in here about where you can share, how you can share. And then you're going to get um, these, these different pages. So the idea is if you're in a classroom with kids, you could print these off. If you're using iPads, they can just scan the QR code or they can use the URL here on the bottom. There are a couple of different sizes of that. There's just this if you wanted to just post this for kids. But we're going to use this URL right here. It's ispri.ng slash vnrqg. And those capitals do matter. So I'm just actually going to copy that link and go back to Google Classroom. Okay. So here I am in Google Classroom. I'm pretty new to this. I'm going to turn my pointer thing back on. So what you're going to do um, if you want to give a student an assignment, um, you can go to Classwork. I think this is where it is. I have not really used Google Classroom, but it's so simple. So then I go to Create, and I'm going to create an assignment. I think you could do it in another way. You could probably use Material or something else, but I'm just for the sake of this video going to do an assignment. And then you don't want to go to create. That's going to open up some other things. You're going to go to add and add. If you go down to link, that's what we want because we have the link. Now you could manually add that in, but I've actually already copied it over. So that's the link from the demo file and I'm going to add it in. It'll take it just a second to think about it. There it is. We're all done. And then we assign. I don't know why it doesn't want to let me assign, assign all students, no due date, assign. <laughs> I'm new to Google Class. Oh, sorry, I have to add the game, uh, Star Wars. Because it's uh, May the 4th next week. There's That's why I had to add the title. Whoops, new to Google Classroom. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm going to assign it. And then when, what kids will see is the Star Wars game, and then here's how it works. So if I click on it, then it's going to send them to um, this this site. And now this is a little bit more exciting because the game is a little more interactive. So then they click and it will give them the game. So now when they do Han Solo, if they hit the wrong one, then it has these sort of fun transitions. They get to try again, Han Solo. They get it right. It sends them to the next challenge. Now, this is just the demo to show you if it would work, how it would work. So you could try it if you use Blackboard or Canvas. You can try that too. Um, but this is just the demo to sort of show you how it works. Most of the games have 30 different challenge words. Uh, the since it's the demo, it has less. Um, but you can uh, just sort of use the demo to gauge like, would this actually work for me? And the cool thing I hope is that it'll work now for online learning platforms like Google, Google Classroom or Blackboard or Canvas. But it should also work um, next year when you're in the classroom. If you have iPads, if you have your interactive whiteboard, if you have Chromebooks or whatever, it should also work next year. So just wanted to show you how that works. Most of the games have 30 challenge words. Um, there, you should be able to use them in lots of different platforms, but let me know if you're having troubles with other ones. Um, and then, uh, yeah, here's a view of all the different games that I have available now, hoping to add more soon. Okay. Hope this was helpful. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.